I got to tell you something. Even when I say that, I want to go buy one. I want a timeshare. I really do. You know why? Because the week I'm in there, I want to paint the walls bright orange. <laughs> I want to paint the ceiling purple. I want to take all of, the, all of the furniture out, and I'm going to put in bales of hay and boards on concrete block. And at the end of the week, when they come in, they go, what did you do? I said, painted it. Why? It's mine. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Can't you go home and paint your house orange with purple ceiling? Yeah. You own it. It's just mine. What is this here? Oh, that furniture. We, we moved that, all, that stuff to our cottage on the lake, you know, that we bought. And I made this stuff myself. I'm, even, I'm not even going to charge anybody for this. I'm just going to leave it free. Well, what about the guy next week? Tell him to paint it. It's his. You say, preacher's not like that. Oh, it's like that. Yeah. Man, I mean, you want to feel pressure. You want to feel temptation. Just sit down with a, with a trained professional timeshare salesman and and somehow in fact here's what i think they ought to go get one of those guys and make him treasurer because somehow he could make it all sound good <coughs> we could still be in debt and somehow they make it all sound good i mean the pressure is tremendous it really is you know what we do <clears throat> if they got something i want we go in and i go well i'm here for the tickets oh well you got it oh, no no i said we're not going to buy your timeshare i said all we're going to do is waste 90 minutes of your salesman's time. We're not going to buy it. He might sell it to somebody. Well, yeah, but we can't give you the tickets. you got to stay here 90 minutes. We brought books. We're going to sit here and read for 90 minutes. Your salesman can sell it to somebody while we're here, uh, while we're here reading. We do that. Now, here's the thing. You know how bad the pressure is? Whether you buy or don't, they don't let you leave. They got, they got, they got donuts and really strong coffee. Man, we, one time... This is back when we were, uh, we were in our 30s, so that's about uh, 100 years ago. Uh, we didn't buy, but it's worth the donuts and the tickets. And so uh, there was this lady. We went to sit down. This lady, she was in her 50s. And she had like about eight cups of coffee. She had a cigarette here, 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 here. I don't know where her husband was. Probably hanging himself somewhere. <laughs> and she's going. She goes, did you buy? I said, no, we didn't buy. She goes, we did. I'm not sure we did the right thing. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. How could you make a purchase and within five minutes wonder if you did the right thing? Because you made that purchase because you got sold. You got tempted. And please, don't, 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 put, don't put confidence in the fool. Well, I'll just go in there with me and my wife. We'll sit down and I'll tell them I don't want it. Oh, yeah, right. You're going to tell a trained professional salesman you don't want it. And he's just going to go, well, okay, then. Here's your ticket. <laughs> he's going to go, Oh, you don't, you don't like to take vacation. <laughs> well, we like to take vacation, don't we, honey? Yeah, we like to take, well, we like to take, oh, so you, you don't like to stay in a nice place. Duh, we like to stay in a nice place, don't we, honey? What's that? Uh, we can't afford it. I don't know how the guy works, but I'm telling you, he, you can afford it. I, I, look, at, if there's a five-year-old in here, he can afford it. <laughs> I don't know how this guy does it, but anybody can afford it. In fact, you could buy two or three. <clears throat> and, so, and so you go, uh, we, we can afford it. What? Uh, well, we don't want to take our vacation to the same place every year. No problem. See, we have these in the red section, the white section, the blue section. I don't even believe there's a blue and white section. And, and the one I'm showing you is in the red section. If you buy it here, you could take your week in Acapulco. You could take the next year. You could take it in the French Riviera. You could take it in, in Hawaii. You could take it in Miami. And then you walk out of there going, how did we fall for that? Temptation. I'm telling you, if you want to know what temptation is like, don't go sit in a bar. Go to a timeshare sale. <laughs> and when you come out going, I can't believe we bought it. <laughs> I had a guy, proud man, proud man. I, this guy is. He's a proud, proud man. He walked up and said, after I got done teaching this one time, he goes, are you telling me that a mature adult Christian would be too, couldn't say no to a timeshare salesman. I said, you ever been in one of those? He goes, no. I said, you're standing in a church, bucko. See, is there anybody here tempted to run out and buy a timeshare? No. Why don't you go sit across from the salesman and see how you do? It is easy to say, well, I wouldn't do that. That's because you don't need a way of escape because there's no fire. You're not in a hurry to get out of this building. 
because there's no fire. You understand? And there's no, there's no uh, barrel full of gold coins here. So there's no tempt. It's easy to not be tempted when you're not tempted. Yeah. And so, guys, just be aware of it. Now, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what my temptation is. It really is. My temptation is. <coughs> yeah, you're, you're probably not really that interested in, in, in my temptation. So we'll just fold this up. Uh, no, I'm going to tell you what my temptation is. It is. It is. You know what it is? Yard sales. Oh, man. When I say it, I want to go to one right now. <laughs> you say, you go to yard sales? You want know the truth? I have never in my life stopped at a yard sale. I thought you said it. I said tempted. I didn't say gave in. I said, what's wrong with the yard sale? Nothing. But, you know, here's what happens. You go to a yard sale. You know what I would do? I would find something at a great price, and I would buy it. And would somebody please tell me where I'd put it? Because we don't have an attic, and we don't have a basement, we don't have a garage. <laughs> if I went to a yard sale, you know what I'd want to buy? The yard. You promised. <laughs> I want a yard, guys, okay? I said, roll this grass up. I'm taking it with me. I mean, I want the yard. <laughs> and I can't afford to go to a yard sale because... Because I would get good deals, I, I'm telling you. And I would buy it, and then I, we would just fill this thing up. It looked like the whole, the whole inside of the motorhome would look like, um, it would look like a Cracker Barrel restaurant. <laughs> I'd have the stuff hang. I'd have saw blades hanging off the walls, okay? And pictures of people I don't even know. But it's a nice frame, and I got it really cheap. <laughs> Isn't that right? Yeah. Guys, <clears throat> uh, let me ask you this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what, uh, what most of you guys have temptation with. And it's temptation you can't give up. That right there. Credit card. Now, I'm going to tell you how to save money, okay? You like to save money? I'll tell you how to save money. I am not an anti-Walmart shopper. I am pro-Walmart. All the junk you hear about Walmart, could you please quit looking at things called Walmartians and saying, look at the people that go to Walmart. Do you think they dress like that go to Walmart? They dress like that because that's what our society has done to them. But, but anyway, uh, if you need a gallon of milk or a, a loaf of bread or a dozen eggs, go to the gas station on the corner and buy them. Oh, no, no, but you know, it's, it's 35 cents more for a dozen eggs at, at the gas station than it is at Walmart. Have you ever seen anybody go to Walmart and buy one dozen eggs, one loaf of bread, one gallon of milk? Nobody does that. Man, you put it in your grocery cart. You know what? They, they did a study. If they can put a grocery cart in your hand, if you don't happen to be homeless and you're going to steal it, um, on average, you'll, the, if you have a grocery cart, you'll spend $40. That they know that. If you've got a grocery cart, you're going to put something in it. Because, come on, man, you've got a loaf of bread in there. And you're going to the counter, you go, look, a sale on mauve extension cord. <laughs> and doesn't it look lonely in there? And the problem is you had enough money to pay for the, for the loaf of bread. You didn't have enough money to pay for the 18 other things you bought. And then you go, well, okay, here. And then you get a bill at the end of the month and go, how did we max out another credit card? You marched into temptation. Look, we're, mar we're, we're Walmart shoppers. We, we go in with a list of a dozen things we need and we buy 20. I don't think I've ever gone to Walmart and bought only what I planned on buying. But I know that. So if I only need one or two items, I don't go there. I'll, I would rather spend 50 cents more for a single item than go in there and save the 50 cents and spend 25 more dollars. I want to tell you this. I'll tell you, I had this, uh, I'm sitting in this uh, meeting one time, and this guy was behind old man. I mean old man. I mean he was somewhere around a thousand. <laughs> and um, if you want to see what he looked like, this is it. I, he, was, he must have weighed about as much as that microphone. He looked like a thermometer upside down, okay? And, and the guy was so old that it, it, like he had to inhale for five minutes before he could speak. And I hear him talk to the guy behind me. He goes like this. I went to a yard sale the other day. I bought a brand new 16 pound sledgehammer for $5. Now, I don't know what a brand new, brand new he said, not used. I don't know what a brand new 16 pound sledgehammer costs at Walmart, but it's more than five bucks. Let's just say it's 25. 
Okay, I'm guessing, because I'm not in the market for one, if I saw one at a yard sale. Anyway, um, okay, so the guy, did he say 20 bucks? You know what he said next? This is the truth. You know what he said? He said, I'll probably never use it. Never use it? It outweighed him. <laughs> he probably picked it up, put it in his car, and broke his hip. Well, I'm telling you the truth. So now I'm asking you another question. If the guy bought a $25 item for $5 and never uses it, did he save 20 No, he wasted 5 You say, why? Temptation was too great. Sometimes you can't take part, partake of every sale you see. Sometimes you just got to say, man. I, mean, I, you know, I go by and I see, I, I go through Walmart, I see, the, I see wall paint on sale. I want to. I want to pay my walls. I don't have any walls. <laughs> nothing, nothing, you don't paint anything in a motorhome. I, but honey, look at how much we sold, we save. It's like this guy, you heard this guy came home one day, and he's coming in the, in the house through the garage, and there's two 50-pound bags of dog food. Honey. Yeah, hon. What do we have these two 50-pound? She said, I got those on sale today. We don't own a dog. <laughs> I know, but with what I saved, we can get one now. <laughs> I'll give you these four and I'll let you go. Number one, I think you should start every day. Please, please, please lead me, not in temptation. I don't, I don't embarrass you or me, okay? Number two, don't lead yourself into temptation. Third thing, if you've ever been, or if you find yourself tempted, get out of the threat zone as fast as you can because I am telling you, you are not thinking straight. That's what temptation is about. It, it does this. Don't sit there and go, well, I'm trying. No, no, don't ration it out. Don't reason it out. Get out of the threat zone. But this is my only chance, which is why you need to get out quickly. Yeah. And four, if you've ever been tempted and did not give in, count that for victory. You won one. You're allowed to win one. Oh, Baptists hate to win. But you're allowed to win one. So that's it. Let's have a word of prayer, and we'll take a break. Father, we thank you now, God, for your goodness. We thank you for your grace. God, we thank you for this book, and it is certainly, it is certainly full of more than...